Hello there, welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, I'm Giselle and I love posting fashion, beauty and lifestyle videos here on YouTube. Man, it felt so good to say that. I have to say, um, it's been a minute since I've posted. It's just end of year, end of 2022 was pretty wild for me and I was just overwhelmed and just exhausted and I, I needed a break so I didn't post for a bit but it's nice to be back. I really, really genuinely missed making videos and posting them and interacting with you guys. So like this to me is becoming very dear to my heart very quickly. So it's nice to be back and I wanna start off just by wishing all of you guys a happy new year. I hope this one is starting out a lot better than last year, <laughs> knock on wood. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys are starting off on a good note I am trying to get there. I'm currently trying to figure myself out with my planner and just adjusting to the new year. Truthfully, that was going to be my first video for the year, you know, fixing my planner with you guys, my vision board, going over goals and pad the past year. But I thought it would be so much more fun to start the year with an unboxing, of course. So here we are today i'm bringing you guys this big box right here we're doing a cloth and paper esthete box unboxing this is the winter box this is my first box um from them so let's get into it Now before I open up the box, if you guys aren't familiar with cloth and paper at all, they are a stationary and like planner insert kind of company. It's black female owned. And I just really, really like the aesthetics of this brand. Everything is very clean, simple and minimal. And I love the story behind it. Um, the CEO, her name is Ashley. She couldn't find a planner that works for her. So what did she do? She made it herself. I mean, duh, right? And now she's she has a successful business of it. So one of the products that they offer are subscription boxes. They have any kind of price point that you can think of. I signed up for the lifestyle box. Is that a siren? New York, you guys, New York. Okay, anyways. <laughs> Dealing with interruptions, another one that we may be dealing with a lot is my dog, Nikita. She is a tiny and cute, but very, very needy. So she may be popping in and out. You may hear her chewing her bone in the back or just, you know, her little pitter patter. She just, she doesn't like when I film. She, I think the concept of me just talking to myself really freaks her out. So she starts crying. <laughs> um, so yeah, don't mind her at all. She may be popping in and out. But yes, so this subscription box that I have here is the Estite box. Estite? Estite, I believe is how you pronounce it. This is the lifestyle box. So there's no stationery in here. There's no planner inserts or pens or anything like that. These are just um, boxes that are sent out orderly. Orderly, oh my God, quarterly. <laughs> and each one has a theme. This one is the winter box. Now, uh, these boxes are a bit of a mystery because you get sneak peeks as to what may be inside, um, but you don't see the full box until you receive it. So the price point I believe is $150. So it's, it's a bit of a plunge, right? To sign up for a box that you don't know exactly 100% what's in it. But the first few sneak peeks that I saw made me feel like it'd be worth signing up for. So let's go ahead and open her up because I'm a little nervous. <laughs> Depending on how this unboxing goes, I may keep the subscription or I may not because even though it's quarterly still, it's if you consider it, it's $50 a month. So let's see. Okay, so uh, right off the bat, I can see a few items in the box let me show you guys what i'm seeing right now so this is what it looks like inside 
So you can already see one of the items right away. This item was actually a sneak peek. Um, and it's basically a carafe with bowl. So I don't mind that I could see this right away because I saw it in the sneak peeks. So this one for me, I already knew. So I'm not mad that it wasn't hidden or covered in any way. But let's go ahead and open it so that you guys can actually see what it looks like. Um, informal carafe with a bowl is what it's called. Don't mind the subway either. I hope you guys are used to it by now, but if you're new to this channel, that is going to happen a lot. <laughs> the subway. Okay. Okay. This is actually really cute. It's a lot smaller than I thought it would be, but I kind of like that. This looks like it would be great for breakfast, just throwing like maybe some orange juice in here, maybe for brunch, just having um, some kind of cocktail mixed in here. And let's see, Orferios Sweden. Okay, so that looks like the brand, possibly. Is it the brand? Orferios, yes. Okay, so it looks like this is a Swedish brand. Design in Sweden, made in Poland. Okay. So this is what it looks like. Very cute. I don't mind this at all. I don't have anything like this. Um, and this would actually make a really nice flower vase. Just so this one's a good one. I'm not mad that I got this at all. So off to a good start. <laughs> Let's see. Anything else in this box? It's supposed to come with a bowl, right? The picture says... Oh, there it is. It's at the bottom. Okay, so this is what the bowl comes in it comes wrapped in paper and this is the bowl so this is actually this is a nice size so this you can easily just put it like this I guess if you want to control any liquid but you can also just keep them separate and this could probably be like a little dip tray but this is really cute this is something you know what this is something that I wouldn't think to buy but need, <laughs> if that makes sense. You know, I'm, this came at a good time too because I'm in the process of kind of redoing my apartment, not in a big way, um, but I wanna get rid of like old, old things and kind of bring in new things to refresh it. And so something like that would be very nice, especially because one of my goals for 2023 is to be a little more involved, like with people I want to hang out more, host more. So that is very nice. Okay, let's see what else is in this box. Um, so this is, this was right on, oh my God. <laughs> this was right on top um let's see what's in here looks like maybe this tells me what's in the boxes see so this is Estee right there that's the name of the box um January collection oh okay it looks like this tells me exactly what's in the box oh it tells me the retail value too okay so let me see does it say Okay. Oh, wow. Okay. So this carafe is worth $130. Oh, the carafe is mouth blown, you guys. That's really cool. Okay. So I'm going to keep this on the side so that as we keep opening, we see what's in it. And it looks like Oh, it comes with coupons. It looks like it comes with coupons for all the brands that are in the box. Okay, so let's leave this for the end. <laughs> and let's keep unboxing. So the next, huh, next item on top is this. Looks like, looks like kitchen towels. Very pretty. I like the stripes. This is... Mima kitchen towels four pack beautiful functional and sustainable um, our everyday goods are made with fibers that jeans manufacturers and yard mills discard and waste we give these materials a second life converting them into durable and beautiful new products wow let's see our own waste is used by coffee growers as a natural compost 
returning to the earth and continuing the cycle. Wow, that is so cool. These feel very nice, you guys. These feel very sturdy, but they also feel very um, absorbent. So let's go ahead, let's open this up. Let me just see how big one of them is, just so I can show you guys. Wow, you guys, that's huge. This is very nice. Wow, I don't mind getting this at all. Honestly, I think this was also another sneak peek were these towels. Um, you guys, this is really cute. Like, this is something else that I wouldn't think to buy, but need. You know what I mean? Like, I'm not upset. I'm actually very, very, I'm impressed so far. Okay, let's see. What else is in this box? Okay, I can see one more thing and it is a big wooden spoon. Let's go ahead and open it. Wow, these looks like, I just ordered a few of these not too long ago from All Clad. This feels really nice, you guys. I just converted from non-stick to stainless steel, so I'm really, I was already investing in like big wooden spoons like this to avoid scratching the pans. Um, but this is actually really nice. Like things like this that are good quality, you can just feel it. You can feel it, especially on things that are wood, you can feel right away if they're good quality or not. And so they're expensive, so I don't, <laughs> I welcome this. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you cloth and paper. You see like a box like this so far, I don't mind because they're things that you actually use. Like I'd be upset if I spent $150 on a box that came with things that I didn't use. Okay, so it looks like then after that, there's a few like um, packaging peanuts and then there's actually a box inside. So let's go ahead and pull this out. Bear with me because, uh, in there oh, oh my god Patrick minutes. <laughs> okay so this is the esteep box so let's go ahead and open it the rest of the items should all be in here let's see okay this is cute so inside there's a message and it says it looks like it's the definition of esteep actually so it tells you how to pronounce it, and it has a message right there in the middle of the box. It says, Estite is a person who has or affects to have a special appreciation of art and beauty. Does that sound like us or what? <laughs> so let's, and then the actual inside of the box looks like this, nicely packaged with a sticker of an A, of course for Estite. And let's see what is in here. Okay, so first item that I'm seeing are more, looks like more, more kitchen towels from the same brand. Let's see, are they the same? Are they the same pattern? They're not the same pattern, um, but they can definitely play off the same colors, but they're not the same pattern. Are these supposed to be the same thing? Yeah, they have the same tag. So it looks like I just got another pack of them, which things like kitchen towels, you can never have enough of. Now let's see if these are the same size. Let's go ahead and open these up. Oh, I think these are smaller. Yeah, okay, so these are a little smaller. Let me show you guys. So that's nice, but they're also not as thick. They're a lot thinner, a lot, a lot thinner. These actually feel, these feel a little bit like linen, actually. If you've had like linen um, kitchen cloths, that's what these feel like, actually. Well, these feel like a little more absor absorbent. Okay, okay. I like this. I have to say, I really, really like that. Okay. Ooh. Okay. These caught my eye right away. I've been wanting to have some kind of 
dried fruits for cocktails. If you guys don't know this yet, I love cocktails, but I appreciate more the arts and crafts that goes into making a cocktail. So I've been wanting to have, what are, oh, these are dried lemons. You guys, these are so cute. So this looks like a full pack of dried lemons. And these are from yescocktailco.com. California grown handcrafted garnishes. And these are made with fresh lemons and that's it. Wow. Okay, so now I'm excited because they must have put something else in here for that. Let's see, right on top there's Twinnings, Immune Support, and Sleep. Okay, and it comes with a coupon. So two packs of tea here with a dollar off inside. So this just looks like a promotional thing that they probably had going on at the time. That's nice. I love tea. I'm not mad at tea. Let's see, what is this? This caught my eye right away. Chili tasting kits. Oh, okay. So this is the chili tasting kit. This was also a sneak peek that we got. So this kit comes with gochugaro chili. I'm pretty sure I murdered that name. If I did, I'm sorry. <laughs> but it comes with four chilies. The first one is gochugaro chili, Aleppo chili, Urfa chili, and Calabrian Calabrian chili? Okay, so this says add a chili pod or two to olive oil, heating slightly to further activate the, for the flavors if possible. Use, ripe, use white bread to dip and taste. Oh my god, I cannot read today. <laughs> so this is what they look like. You get four. So they look like little books, but they're not. They're actually little chili pods. Wow, that's cool, you guys. Look at that. So this is the Urfa chili. Okay, it says this is a deep flavor. Does it say damp and slightly sour with hints of chocolate and red wine? Wow, you guys. Oh my god, I'm so excited to try these. So this is this one. Let's see what the other one says. This is the smoky chili. Gochugaro chili. Okay, smoky and sweet with a mild earthiness, crunchy texture, and moderate pleasant heat. Okay, okay. And this is what these look like. These actually look like little Nespresso pods. If you guys are familiar with Nespresso, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. This is the Aleppo chili, and this is fruity and... Okay, fruity. Slightly oily with a fruity, smoky, but not smoked flavor that carries very little heat. Ooh, this may be right up my alley. Oh, inside it says make food and eat it. Make food and eat it, make food and eat it. Okay, so that's what it says inside. Make food and eat it. So again, the last one is Calabrian chili and this is a bright chili. Okay, so I can see why they used orange for this one. Uh, salty, bright, and slightly acidic with a subtle heat that feels like a glow, not a burn. Feels like a glow, not a burn. What? <laughs> That's what this one looks like. Okay, and those are the four chili tasting kits. My boyfriend is going to love this. So this, so far, it's working out because he loves, he likes spicy. I usually don't. I'm slowly is alexa popping off with nobody calling her does that happen to you guys that she just starts talking to herself i'm not even in the room with her she's going off in my bedroom okay next item is carefully wrapped in bubble wrap let's see what this is it's purple though Purple is usually a good sign. Let's see, let's see. This is number one, lavender honey, fragrant blossom, bright citrus. Ooh, lavender honey? Ooh, cocktail 101. Wait, what is this? Divine in a gin and tonic, splash with champagne for the ultimate mimosa, or even add it to sparkling water, lemonade, or tea for an effortless mocktail. Oh my god! Okay, so this must go with this. 
Wow, I really want to try this. Lavender honey, that is so cool. Okay, it's from the same brand. Yes, Cocktail Co. So this is what this looks like. This is huge, by the way. Um, designed to make a perfect craft cocktail with gin, vodka, tequila, mezcal, rum, whiskey, brandy, or champagne. Wow, so this is versatile, you guys. Oh my god. Anything from my bar, I welcome because mm, liquor is expensive. <laughs> Hey guys, so I'm sorry for this brief interruption, but as I was editing the video, I realized that I was missing some footage. <laughs> and that's probably because my camera turned off and I was just, I was in the zone and I did not notice that my battery died. <laughs> so I'm gonna just show you guys really quick the four items that didn't get recorded, unfortunately. Um, I've seen them now, so that initial just the excitement of getting them won't be there but let me just show you really quick and then we'll continue on with the original footage so the first item that i want to show you guys where <laughs> the video cuts off is actually this olive oil that came with the set so this olive oil is meant to be used with the chili tasting kit that was also included so you're supposed to use one of the pods with the olive oil and of course, cloth and paper won't leave you without something to put that in. So they also included these two little wooden dipping trays. I'll get into these more towards the end of the video, but they are great, great quality. They're incredibly smooth and they're just so freaking cute. So this is what they look like. And because they're made of actual wood, the patterns are different. It's not fake wood, it's actual wood. They're nice and sturdy. So this also came in. And another item that came in that I was just really sad that didn't get recorded were these crackers. They sent um, from Rustic Bakery, Sweet Onion and Creme Fresh crackers, which is just right up my alley. And I love that the back has a charcuterie board on it. Like literally that was the first thing that I thought of when I pulled them out of the box. They look delicious and this is right up my alley when it comes to my goals for 2023 one of them is to just be involved more hosting more hanging out with friends more so these will definitely come in handy i don't think they'll make it in my pantry too long because they look really good but <laughs> this is another item that didn't get recorded unfortunately so now let's go ahead and cut back to the original recording Okay, so my camera turned off and I don't know where it ended. So let's redo this. Okay, so the chili, the chili spice tasting kit is worth $20. Okay, seems fair. The extra virgin olive oil is worth $18. That also seems fair. The carafe is $130, as we said earlier. The lemon garnishes and lavender cocktail mixer Let's see, the lemon garnish is $6, the honey cocktail mixer, lavender honey cocktail mixer is 12 The, oh, so these are napkins, you guys. Makes sense because they're smaller. So <laughs> these are striped napkins. These are 35 And then the thicker ones, the kitchen towels, are worth 30 The kitchen spoon, the 20 is, where is it? $20. Okay. The oh these are olive wood bowls you guys these little ones this is really nice i really like these these are really really cute and these are also going to be great like when you put together a charcuterie board and you need to have like sauces and things out this is great for that so the set of two is 22.95 and the last item in the box the sourdough flatbread is eight dollars and each item in here has a promo code that's that has to do with the SD box. So that's really, really nice. Here's like the full list. I'm sorry about the lighting, I'm trying to, this is a new ring light that I'm working with, I'm trying to figure it out, so <laughs> bear with me. But overall, you guys, let's see. I paid $150 for the box. I used the promo code, actually, so I got $15 off. So I paid, I think, like 135, I believe, for the box. Um. And just the carafe alone is basically worth what I paid, which is crazy. So all in all, definitely worth 
the price in terms of retail value but honestly this box just made me so happy like anything <sighs> I cannot wait to try this lavender honey I just I'm so excited you guys little things like this make me happy like these dried lemons this really made me happy you guys so <laughs> I'm very very excited to try these out um after I do I may do um kind of like a uh are the products good or not let me know if you'd be interested in that um also in terms of cloth and paper i wanted to do a video about putting my planner together because most of my inserts are from cloth and paper so i was thinking of doing that with like a vision board kind of video setting goals for the new year but we are at the end of january going into february so i wasn't sure if that was something you guys would want to see or still care about watching but if you do let me know and i will happily happily make that video for you guys i kind of still want to do it i just i was gonna do it that was actually gonna be my first video but i didn't want to post it if you guys are over it and don't even like care to watch something like that anymore um so let me know if you guys are interested more than happy to post that but that pretty much wraps up this video, you guys. Thank you so, so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. If you guys have any questions about anything, let me know. If you have any other questions about cloth and paper, let me know. If I have an answer for you guys, more than happy to respond. And stay tuned. We're coming back with content. We're gonna come back hard. I feel like 2023 is gonna be my year. I really wanna put a lot of effort into my channel. Um, I feel like you know it's time it's time to just give you guys everything so i'm very excited for what is to come and if you haven't done so already go ahead and subscribe to my channel if you like this video give it a thumbs up that means a lot to me believe it or not it really does because it kind of tells me what you guys want to see more of so on another note <laughs> thank you so so much for watching and i hope to see you guys in the next one take care stay safe Bye. <laughs>